Wonderful. Good afternoon. Wednesday afternoon. It's Marcus time. Today we are going to talk about the most important indicators for FX trading, including in, including this following topics and overview about the top indicators I use in my trading and how in, how each indicator works and what it tells us. And uh, let's see an example strategy using for uh, these each indicators. So my name is Marcus Gabel. I'm a professional analyst, spe speaker, trading and life coach, of course. And uh, yes, a real trader with life accounts. And I've been trading global markets for over 22 years right now. And if you want to have more information uh, with my homepage, trading dot com plumman and all the other guys wonderful welcome in this webinars uh, serious trading spotlight i'm partnering with admiral markets which is a forex and cfd broker that offers trading over 8000 different financial instruments through one of the world's best trading platforms um, metatrader 5 and um, make sure that you stay until the end of this webinar and this video if you watch it on youtube then we'll be showing you why you should not so lately rely on any kind of indicators because you should set up a trading strategy using such helpful tools like indicators. Finally, if, you watch, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to like this video, share it with other traders and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. So um, that was the introduction words. Welcome, 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 guys. It's such a great pleasure that you spend your lifetime with me in this uh, Marcus time afternoon here. And yes, let's talk about the indicators, FX indicators that can help us to become successful in trading. And of course, my private opinion and experience about using such kind of indicators. So let's start. What do indicators uh, tell us? Basically, or generally, trading indicators are mathematical calculations which are plotted as lines on price charts and can help traders identify certain signals and trends within the markets. That's the job what indicators should do. We usually different between leading indicators and lagging indicators, and I want to try it uh, as I, ex I want to try to explain it as easy as possible. Because you know, in my private opinion, um, how should I say, trading must be as easy as possible. Because the bigger challenge in for trading success, for having trading success, is taking place in your mind because you know you have to change your mindset for trading and this is not uh, it's not related to uh, any kind of indicators a leading indicator basically is a forecast signal that predicts the future the right side of the chart the future of price movements while a lagging indicator looks at the past trends and indicates momentum so this is basically the job we have to do, that you differ between leading and lagging indicators. Therefore, we have different, uh, of course, different strategy we can use for that. And today we want to have some uh, looks at the real chart so I can explain a little bit better. It's, uh, it's timeless. You can use this kind of webinar all the time in the future. So why? why we should or we can uh, use indicators. So uh, such a leading price movement indicator are designed to anticipate the future to give the trader an edge in trading. This means they give us more opportunities to trade by providing early signals of an entry or exit. So Robert, hi, nice to meet you. And all the other guys as well. Thanks for spending a lifetime with me guys around the world. But uh, please let me uh, say this one. You know, you are always on the right side of the chart. Nobody knows what will happen next there, even in the next minute. So such kind of, um, 
such kind of, of indicators are just only helpful tools. So, and this leading indicator will predict a little bit what can happen in the future. It's not a guarantee. There are no securities in the market, just only probabilities. This is a big point. Lagging indicators are indicators that follow a trend and then predict price reversals. They follow an event and price movements are such kind of events. They don't signal an opposite like the, uh, um, like the leading price indicator. They don't signal upcoming changes in prices, but only indicate whether the price are increasing or decreasing so that we can invest accordingly like uh, paramiding or something else in this way. But again, remember please, each indicator is based on the past and is not a holy grail. They are only helpful tools. Let me tell you a quick story of my own trading career. I, um, I guess during the last 70 or 60 years roundabout, I guess I tried every kind of indicator, moving averages, leading, lagging, uh, unspoken indicators uh, with waves and Bollinger Bands and uh, whatever there exists outside there in the almost limitless universe uh, of indicators, I almost used every kind of indicators. And sometimes, well, let me tell you a quick story. Last week, I got a message on Facebook from one of my followers and he told me, uh, he used to write me, if he writes me, always in the middle of the night. So, you know, I work along, uh, along uh, I work, I used to long, I used to work almost till midnight or a little bit longer. And this guy used to write me on Facebook very late in the night. So, and last week he told me and he wrote me on Facebook, he found an amazing strategy to make profits all the time. And I guess it was a little bit after midnight and I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I'm grabbing my eyes and I said, what? What is, what, what are you talking about? And then I take, what, so what's the holy grail I wrote back? And he told me, um, he crosses, listen to me, he crosses the stochastic oscillator with the MACD indicator. And this is the best strategy ever. So I was wondering, and it was too late at night for this kind of discussion. And I only, uh, I only uh, give back my answer. I wish you luck. I wish you a lot of luck in using this so-called holy grail. So, um, and by the way, I tried this strategy in my own past years ago. And, but this is the normal way all the traders are used to go in their trading career. So people don't understand, or most of the traders don't understand that they uh, trade the price. And every kind of indicator is based on the past. And it's not a guarantee that it's the, the prediction for the future is correctly. It's not a guarantee. So, and if you cross some indicators to each other, it's just only a, maybe a, a, wonderful, a wonderful strategy. I guess it is. And it will prove you today with some examples as well. But to think you can make money, you can make a lot of money with such wonderful strategy, crossing stochastic with MSCD and just whatever. I used it, uh, different figures in, in every kind of MLCD and uh, every kind of indicators to think this is the holy grail, it's the wrong way. Always the wrong, the wrong way. So, and um, it, I was just a little amused about this uh, guy on Facebook. I love him because uh, he follows me a lot of time right now. And he always used to tell me, Marcus, 
everything you said is true and I follow you for a long time and I see everything is right what you're telling. But now I found my own strategy by crossing stochastic to MLCD. So, and I said, okay, fine, do it and try it, whatever you want. You uh, simply, you must make your own experiences. If you don't want to listen to me that every kind of indicator is not the holy grail, is based on the past, on the past price. You look at this one, the first sentence, trading indicators are mathematical calculations. So such mathematical calculations can only developed by the past. There must be existed numbers. There must be. So if you want to make a calculation, you need prices. You need such numbers. They must be there already. Otherwise, you cannot make mathematics without any kind of numbers. So with this in your mind, you need to understand that it's just only a prediction. It's just only probabilities based on the behavior in the past. No more and no less. And never the holy grail. It just can be a helpful tool that to make it a little bit easier or to increase the figure of probabilities on the right side of the chart. No more and no less. And therefore, I know, guys, and this is my own experience. And you know, it's my mission. And this is why we created this wonderful Admiral Markets, um, this uh, trading spotlight community. We cracked the number of, numbers of 100 uh, participants. I'm so grateful for that. Now we have 102 participants in this wonderful family, the trading spotlight community. And uh, I want to invite you too in this uh, great uh, family cause Pen Jens, Paul and myself, we share our ideas, our trading ideas and all our experience cause uh, this wonderful dream around Admiral Markets. We have this mission and this vision as everybody has the right and the opportunity uh, or the possibility to become successful in trading. But please stop doing things they don't work. Stop trying things we tried in the past already. You don't need to repeat our mistakes. For example, if I might say, stop seeing like indicators a holy grail or stop focusing on such things like indicators, maybe you can try it, but never forget, this is the hourly class. Your lifetime is limited. There is no reason that you must repeat the mistakes we made in the past. And believe me, I made every kind of mistake in my past because we are humans. If you want, try it. But the only thing you will figure out on your own track to your uh, success is that you waste your worthful lifetime to figure out that we are right. Jens, Paul and me, when we say, don't do it, stop it, stop wasting of your lifetime. Such things like indicators are just only tools, not the holy grail. So you can read a lot of articles in internet, you can watching millions of YouTube videos and around the world, but it's completely enough if you follow Jens, Paul and myself to figure out what is the basement, the foundation of every kind of trading. And the beginning, the end of the beginning is always the price. And the traders around the world used to trade the price, no more, no less. And then indicators is a mathematical calculation on that price you can see already in the chart. So that's the point behind this slide. So let's see an overview of my, I use of my top indicators. I don't want to talk about uh, such things like uh, rainbow or Ishimoku or something else. That's not my point. 
uh, but I know there is existed uh, a webinar from Jens if you want to know more things about Ishimoku, of course. But I want to show you today my indicators I use sometimes, very seldom, but sometimes I use such things. Normally, I don't use any indicators, just except one. That's my price market profile indicator. And uh, we will publish this and uh, that will come in the next two weeks an announcement that we can open, that we can uh, give out this new uh, developed uh, market profile indicators. But first of all, that's the three one I use, the RSI, the MSCD, and the lagging indicator, sometimes the SME, SMA uh, 200. And let's step into the next uh, slide and let's step into such a leading indicator, the RSI. Um, as I mentioned, uh, leading indicators give signals when a trend is about to start. So this RSI, which means Relative Strength Index, is intended to chart the current and historical strength or weakness of a stock or a market based on the closing prices of a recent trading period. So Relative Strength, strength Index is mathematically calculated on the closing price of the recent trading period. This is an interesting point. So the RSI uses overbought and oversold situations or such things like divergences. So let's see an example. And now we step into the real chart. And I figured out something that I want to show you. Um, you can see we have, uh, let's see. So we have uh, in 70, normally, the RSI is divided on the upper side as an overbought situation, every price above 70%. And on the lower side, it's really easily explained at 30%. So round about 30%. And believe me, guys, it makes no sense to change these numbers. I tried it in the past, a lot of things. I tried with 60 and 40 and 80 and 20. I tried every kind of numbers, even 90 and 10 on the upper and lower side. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because it's based just only on the price, no more or less. I use the RSI to figure out only just kind of divergences. So what is a divergence? It is what, the word, what the, this word really means. Uh, the price and this indicator or the momentum or the, of the period of the price, the strength of the price, differs to each other. So this is the word of kind of divergence. It differs to each other. The price went down, but the momentum not. So. Let's see what does it mean in the, in the price segment. So maybe a look at this one. So you have here, we, we have a downtrend. Oh, this is not the right one. Just a moment. No, come on. So here we go. Okay, it's a little bit easier here for that one. So you see, we have a downtrend. Movement, correction, movement, correction, movement. And now it's going to be interesting. Look where the RSI is. Here we are not, all, not exactly at the uh, oversold situation, but at around about, yes, the 13% line. So now ha something happens, the next correction, and then the trend tries to continue, but fails. So what happened here, you can connect now these two lines, these two lows. Now you have a lower low, but you have in the RSI, you can see a higher low. And this means these two points diverse to each other. It's, this is what's the meaning, what uh, the meaning of the word divergence. You have a lower low, but a higher low in the RSI. And this is what the leading indicator will mention. 
that's uh, all what you can consider if you watch this kind of divergence, because it's the beginning of a new trend or a completely reversal of the trend. And that's why I use this RSI sometimes to figure out only divergences. I don't need the information if I am, uh, if I am, how should I say, uh, overbought, overbought or oversold. It's not interesting for me because I'm a trend trader. It's just only interesting to figure out if the trend will come to an end or the correction will come to an end. So you can see almost the same on the other side. So here we are, we have now this starting new trend. So see movement, correction, little bit move, correction, movement, correction, movement, then the correction. And now you see the price will continue, but it fails. So now you can connect the two highs to each other. And now you see, go down to the RSI, you see it's a lower low. What you could see on the lower side, as a higher low, a higher, uh, higher low, now you have a deeper low, a deeper high, sorry, on the upper side, a deeper high on the upper side. Here in the price, you have a higher high, but on the RSI, you have a lower high. And as you could see, as a consequence, the price uh, drops down very deeply. And this situation you can use in two strategy, but let's see a little bit later. That's just only to introduce the wording of uh, or the, uh, the working of this kind of um, RSI. Let's go back to the slide. The next leading indicator is the MACD MAC. Another example um, for a leading indicator and MACD is the short uh, for moving average convergence divergence. And it's a trading indicator used in pure technical analysis of stock prices, but you can use it in FX as well. And once created by Gerald Apple in the late 70s. And this uh, MSCD is designed to reveal changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a stock's price, but also in the FX. Let's see an example. And I love MLCD and now I will give you a little bit of trick. So let's delete the RSI to focus on MLCD. So here we go. Where is MLCD? In um, he, there is MLCD. So, and now there's just a little bit of trick, guys use Fibonacci numbers. It's not the holy grail, of course not, but use Fibonacci numbers. So I use 13, 34 and eight. It's a little bit more slowly in the chart, but it's Fibonacci numbers, it's more natural. So here we go. And um, you see, it's almost the same and it's really, really worthful. And here you can see when the trend will come into an end or will find a reversal. So maybe look at this one. Same, that's the wording of convergence or divergence. So we can see one on the upper side. Let's see. So you see movement, correction, movement, correction, movement. Look at this one. Now we have higher highs, three higher highs. Can you see it in the MSCD? Three lower highs. And as a consequence, the price drops down really sharply. This is one of the best signals ever. This is the working of this MSCD. Could you confirm? No, uh, 13, 34 and eight, 34, not uh, entity, not 32, 13, 34 and eight. Let's see, look at this one. I show you again. Oh, sorry.
just a little bit inside. 13, 34, and 8. Make a screenshot, then you can uh, save it on your screen. Okay, so this is what um, the indicator means, like a divergence. Or here you can see, this is, um, let's see, a convergence. Yes, here you can see a little bit of convergence on the left side. So let's see. You see, if you connect this lows to each other, one, two, three, you can see here falling prices, falling momentum. And this is kind of convergence. When the price and the indicators run in the same direction, this is convergence. So it's like a confirmation. The indicator gives you the confirmation what you can see in the chart. And if you will see if the trend will continue, or if you want to find a really early entry signal, then you can work with divergences. Then you can see, okay, the price is not healthy enough. There is no more power in the market. And really, this is really, really interesting. But I want to introduce you to an interesting strategy a little bit earlier in this, uh, in this slides. So let's go back to the slide. And uh, this is another one, um, the SME, SMA 200. And this is a lagging indicator, just every kind of SMA or oh, EMA, same one. Um, this lagging indicators follow the price and determine the trend, no more or less, just only a following indicator or in a, in a technical word, lagging indicators. So for example, the 200 day SMA, simple moving average, covers roughly 40 weeks of trading and is commonly used in stock trading to determine the general market trend to, to figure out the overall trend. And uh, as long as the stock price remains above the 200 day SMA on the, di on the daily time frame, the stock is generally considered to be in an overall uptrend. So, and um, so let's see. This one. Okay, just have a look in the. Um, uh, in the in the chart, of course, and let's put the two hundred uh, the moving averages into the chart. Let's see moving average. Okay, here we go. I have to find it, trend. No, that's not volumes. Just give me a sec to figure out moving average. Jesus Christ, where is it? Okay. That's interesting. Trend. Moving average, Jesus, <laughs> oh my God. Here we go. So let's see, uh, take maybe red and uh, 200. So let's see in the market, the 200. And now I look daily chart. So I'm basically you can see uh, if you have a price below the 200 moving averages, you can say the trend that the overall trend is facing downwards. And if you have a price above the 200 moving average line, then you can say it's an uptrend and it's a strong uptrend. But here's a little bit of trick. A really good entry is if the price will come back to the moving average and the, the, um, the moving average comes really strong or sharply from the lower of the upper side, then this moving average works like a little bit of support or resistance. 
but here if you have a horizontal line it doesn't work you can see also it's not the holy grail but sometimes it works here you can see it a little bit here sometimes it works like a little bit a support which you can use for lower time frames if you can see the support on daily chart Maybe you can go down in hourly chart or maybe five minute chart and can use this situation there. So basically, I don't use very often, uh, I don't use this indicator very often. So just only for to have an overview about that. But for example, that you can see how it works, but it's not really worthful in my private opinion, of course. So let's go back to the. Um, slides and now i want to introduce you a little bit of strategy about the mscd trading um, basically the mscd indicator uses overbought and oversold situations or so-called and I love it divergences if, if you see such a divergence you can use the movements that will occur as a signal step number one wait patiently wait until the MSCD is deep below the zero line in negative terrain, point step two, when the price makes a lower low and the MSCD makes a higher low, this is your long signal. Step three, when you can see a balance candle in the chart, for example, if you use Heiken Ashi, I suppose, you can set your stop buy order above that balance candle and step four, trail your stop loss bar by bar and it's almost the same in rsi but let's focus on mscd it's a little bit more slowly but it's more worthful uh, than uh, the rsi so let's see an example and um, let me delete this one so here we go and uh, let me use, please, my Aikinashi. It's a little bit better for me. So, so let's see. And now let's put in the moving average of the MSCD. Here we go. So, and the right numbers 13, 34, and of course, 8. So, and now let's see where we can use such kind of divergences. Here we go. So here we go. This is one. Look at this one. Here you have on this side a lower low. You can see connect the two lows. But here you can no, this is a this is not a divergence. Sorry. Oh yes. See, it's a little bit not so clear. Yeah. Uh, it's my painting program. So no, this is a convergence, you see. No, that's not. This is a kind of convergence. Let's see if I can find another one. Yeah, here we go. There we go. So this is a kind of. You see, this is a lower low. Connect this one. And you see, this is a high low in the MSCD. And the next, you can see this is a balance candle here. And then this is a really interesting strategy. You can open your position above this balance candle here and your stop below the balance candle. And then maybe trail your stop always bar by bar or maybe by an outside bar. That's your decision. And then you can follow as long as the movement will take. And this strategy is really, really amazing. 
it works on the upper and of course on the lower side. Let's, uh, let's repeat and let's see if you can figure out something, another one. Yeah, here we go. That's great. So look at this one. Can I make it a little bit look more clear? Yeah, here we go. That's amazing. You see, connect the two highs to each other. And you see, MSD, you have a lower high. This is a really, really clear divergence. And then you can use it. And look, in Heikinashi, it's really, really easy. So you see, here is your balance candle and indeed the changing from green to red. So what do you have to do? Go into your position, open a pending order and below your balance candle and then it's completely easy. Follow your bars, bar by bar and then you can see that's your profit. And if you have a strong divergence, then maybe you can work with soft stop or a little bit more space as, as at the point, if you are in the profit, you can give a little bit more space to your, uh, to your trade. And then you can trail your stop there. And you could see after this small correction, the price went more down. So this is your complete uh, profit here. And this is really, really nice. This is a very, very interesting um, divergence. And look at this one. Actually, here, Swiss franc in uh, Japanese yen, you have a similar situation. Look at this one. So you have this higher high, but now the RSI makes a lower high, or maybe kind of double top. And now you see what creates there? A balance candle. It's crazy, it's amazing. If this hour is, uh, if we got the top of the hour at five or four, and this is a re interesting entry. So you can open your position below this candle and you set your stop above and then trail your stop bar by bar. As long and as far the profit or the market will uh, take and will go down. So this is interesting. Very, very, one of my beloved, really early entry, it's kind of movement trading, because you don't have a trend in your direction, but you have a strong technical signal and you can use it. And at the best guys, use it in higher time frames, not in one minute, not in five minutes. Yes, you can, but it's not so worthful than, like, uh, than in, in higher time frames. It's just a really, really easy strategy. But there is a big and really important advice. It's not the holy grail. It's just a really interesting strategy with a high uh, hit quote. So, and uh, this is what you have to know. So this was a strategy in for MLCD. So now we'll see an SMA 200 trading strategy. You can here work with crossovers for giving a long or a short signal. Not by trading and uh, not by trend trading, it's more than movement trading. So let's do this example at 50 and 200 to your chart. And then if the 50 SMA crosses the 200, it's a buy or in the other one, other direction, it's a short signal. Or alternatively, the price closes above or below 200 moves moving average then it gives a long or a short signal. So let's do here and let me delete the indicator to focus. No, here we go, to focus. And now moving average again, now I know it, moving average, come on, here you go. So 200, let's give it in red and deeper so so this is my 200 and now let's give another one in the 50 and let's see in blue 
So, and now there you can see it's a kind of strategy, not mine, but it's a kind of strategy. So first of all, if you can see there is a crossing signal, for example, there is a crossing signal when the 50, the 200 crosses, then maybe, and this is the point why I use Heikinashi. First of all, the changing of the color pictures you when the trend will continue or comes to an end if you work with divergences. So you can see after the crossing signal, the 50 crosses the 200, wait for the balance candle, wait maybe for the green color and then open your position and let's make a kind of uh, movement trading. Follow maybe by soft stop always your, uh, your candles and then you can make profit. This is one of it. So let's see if we'll find uh, another one. So here we go. Uh, it's a little bit too, it's a little bit uh, late, but basically can say, so here we cr have the crosses to the lower side. So where we are here right now, so you see it's a downtrend and then you can see you have here this red color. You have a balance candle. It means the end of a possible correction. Then the changing of the color and then you can follow your bars. That's amazing guys. It's really, really amazing. So this is the first point, crossing 50 to 200, long or short, and then use Heiken Ashi. That's amazing and use the changing of the color. And this you can use in every kind of time frame. Or the other one, let's uh, delete the 50 one. That's the 51, delete, stay the 200. So now if you have a close above or below the 200 moving average, so for example, here we go. At that point with this closing, you have a green and then you see you have a close above the 200 moving average, which means you can open your position at this high and then follow with your trend or with your stop loss, follow the single periods. As long as you are in the profit and you can see, in that case, it's a small profit, but it is, it is. And you see only if you have a close above or below the 200 moving average, then it's worth to uh, open your position. Or you can use it as a, res as a resist or support in that way, and then you can open the next position as well. So let's see if you can do the same, maybe in five minutes or in uh, another one. So here we go, for example, you see, now here you have the close, with that the close, open your position there and either you follow the trend or the, uh, the single candles. That's your decision. But this is an interesting strategy. It's not my preferred strategy, but it is one of the strategy if you follow the price after a closing price above or below the 200 moving averages. But never forget guys, you on the right side of the chart, it's not the holy grail, it's just only very simple strategies. At the best, you use such things if you are deep in the unfair price value zone. Let's make a short and quick conclusion. Leading indicators are designed to anticipate further price movements to give the trade an edge in trading. Lagging indicators are indicators that follow the trend rather than predicting price reversals. They follow just only an event. Please, you should not so lately rely on either of these indicators. You should set up a trading strategy using both types of indicators. And I, for example, my favorite indicators are MLCD. Sometimes RSI, very seldom 200 move range, but maybe, but most of the times I use the MLCD. This was my part for today, guys. And of course, we will never leave a client behind of us. 
we want to have, give you support after the strategy. Yes, yes, thank you, I will, I will do it. Uh, if you want to follow the strategies from Paul, Jens and myself, come into our Trading Spotlight community. Now we are more than 200 participants right now and we want to increase these numbers and now we need you and we want to make you successful in trading and for that we do a lot of efforts about that. So come to tradersyard.com and the, open, the only requirement you need is to open a real account at Admiral Markets, put some deposit in on it and then make your request for this wonderful community. Don't forget to join us next time on Friday when Jens Glatt, my congenius partner, uh, shows you how to learn how to use the Gen High, Gen He Low trading strategy, whatever it is. Figure it out, guys. A quick introduction in this Gen theory and the activator and a real, real world, guys. Friday, the 22nd of May, same time, same place. I'm really grateful for that, that you spend your lifetime with me. And it's my mission to give you quick advices for that. And if you take some quick advice for you in the last 45 minutes, then we won both in this, uh, in this game. And it's my mission to make you successful. Thank you, thank you very much. And I hope you will visit our Admiral Markets to figure out about more successful trading. And you know my name, Marcus Gabel. If you want to have more information, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And it's, it's my pleasure to support and to escort you on your own way to your trading success. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Stay at home as long as the coronavirus will um, <laughs> suffer with us. And uh, be always careful about your own thoughts because they're the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.